Hey guys, DFWJ here. Um, I haven't done a video in a long time, but I was asked if I could please help somebody with uh, their joystick. Apparently, a friend of mine took took his joystick apart and he couldn't put figure out how to put it back together. So I told him I'd make a video, and I know it's kind of dark in here, so I got this flashlight. But uh, basically, uh, if you take yours apart and you need to put it back together and you, you don't remember how to do it, hopefully this video will help you out. Obviously, you already know to take these six screws, and this this is for I'm doing the um, Mad Cat's TE stick. So, if you have a different kind, it may be a little different. But if it's a uh, J J E L F or J whatever the hell this Sanwa stick is called, if you have this kind, then it's gonna it's gonna be the same. So, like I said, you take this six screws off. Uh, the lid comes up. Comes over. Of course, if you've already done this, then, then you know what, what's going on. I have to explain to you. Let me see if I can get some good lighting in here. Let me see. Alright, let's try this. Alright, so first things first, unplug your, your cable from the joystick itself. I would recommend going there and, and uh, put in a little line with a marker so that you know which way it came out. Uh, if it doesn't work or if it's upside down or whatever then you can always open it up and switch the cable around so all right unplug this and then you're left with this part here this is your octogate simple it's got four clips one two three four you push in you pull push in and you pull up okay so yours may look a little different it may have yellow it may have a square and it may have a circle depending on on where you got it and who you got it from or but if you bought it, if you bought it straight from from Mad Cats, it's probably gonna have the the square gate. On mine, I have the octo gate. That's just uh, what I prefer. So um, the little teeth, you can see these two teeth. They're gonna be pointing up. That's the way it came out. So I'm gonna put this right there. All right. So next step is this little motherboard here with the switches, with the micro switches. It just pulls up. Remember that these little teeth were pointing that way. So I'm just gonna pull it up, comes out, simple. I'm gonna put that right there. Now, uh, this, the, the, your, the joystick shaft is being held on, everything's being held down by uh, this little clip right here. Whether you wanna call it a C-clamp, E-clip, whatever, I don't care. Use a small flat head if you've got one, slide it in there, pull slowly. Shit might pop everywhere, but be careful. So there it is. See that? I'm gonna put this down. All right. Now I'm holding it down at the bottom, and I'm gonna pull this. And I think it's called the attenuator, whatever it's called. This thing. Put it aside. All right. Then you have your spring. Okay. Bam. And then there's this little cup thing that holds everything together. Okay. So this. As you can tell, it's got a little, a little. It's got two sides. One's real short. One's kind of long. Remember the, this part goes up. So we'll put that down. All right. So now at this point, your joystick will actually fall out. I mean, it can fall out. So I'm gonna pull that slowly. As you can see, there's the joystick. There's the ball top, which can come off and everything if you want. There's your dust washer. Yours may be black. Um, I replaced mine with a full hammer one. Uh, you can un unscrew the ball top and you'll have just this, this shaft by itself. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now, this is where it can get kind of confusing if you're not used to this. This little washer here may fall out. So just remember you got to put that back. If you, for some reason, took it apart and uh, you're left with this thing, that's where it goes. So there's that little washer. I mean, it fits in there snugly. I mean, it wouldn't fit anywhere else. So I'm gonna put that aside. And this is where uh, it could be a little confusing, I guess. But you see that little white thing going up and down? I'm pushing it with my finger. Okay, that. I'm gonna turn this around. There's a washer in there that's floating around. And that actually can fall out out of the side right here. So, let me see. Uh, if I just shake it around a little bit, there it is. All right, so there's that washer. 
or, or dust wash or whatever you want to call it. That was inside there. I'm going to put this aside. And there's that little that little part that was going up and down. That will fall out like that. And now this thing, you see how dirty that is? I would recommend you go ahead and clean this real good. And maybe add a little tiny bit of, uh, I don't want to say grease, but something, some kind of oil or something. Because it's right now it's got gunk on it. So I would clean that up real good. And clean that up real good with a little bit of uh, something to... Maybe some WD-40, a little tiny bit, not a lot, just a little bit. So, okay, you have this part, and that goes in like this. Now, put that aside. If you look, there's nothing else that's going to fall out. So, if for some reason you decided to take these screws off or, or this thing off, and I, I don't see why you would do that, but if you decided to do that, then it's not that, there's not a whole lot that can go around that, that, that would go wrong. So, at this point... I'm just gonna go from here and put it back together okay so I recommend again cleaning this this area here this little black thing doesn't come out you would have to really try hard to pull that out but at this point I would clean this out clean this out real good and it just slides in in I mean you want the flat part to be up you don't want to put the this out like this okay I mean it only fits one way so it goes like that and you put your washer this, this dust washer is already in there you can slide it from the side, no pun intended, but it actually goes in, if you can see on the screen, you see it there? Right there, all right, so that goes in like that. At this point, your joystick, shaft, um, dust washer, everything together just goes right inside, all right? Boom, like that. And you wanna hold it while you flip this around at least for a little bit. All right, so there it is. So you can see that. Let me get a little bit closer. All right. All right, like that. All right. Now remember that little thin washer. You might want to oil it up just a tiny bit. Clean all this up. All in here. That goes next. All right. Push it in. It shouldn't. You see, it kind of stays there. All right. So the next part is is this little little fellow right here, and again, it's got two sides to it. One's real short, and one's a little bit long. You want the long part up, so that goes in there like that, all right. And I'm still holding the the ball top from under, underneath, so that goes there. Next, of course, your spring goes next. That goes right inside there, fits there snugly. And then this thing, this little cup looking thing goes next. And that you have to actually push it down and hold it because it's gonna try to pop up because of that spring. Okay, so you're gonna hold it down and you're gonna get this little clip. And you're gonna, you almost need three hands for this, but there's a way you can do it without that. There. See that? Just clip right in. Alright, so now you can let go and nothing's going to fall out. You should feel the joystick, everything's fine. Okay? So next, you're just going backwards and you're putting this the same way you took it out. Not like this, of course. This way, remember the little teeth go out this way. So, that just slides in. I mean, nothing to it. And again, next is your octo gate, square gate. Your gate, basically. Again, with those little teeth facing up. And there's, I mean, it can go this way or this way. It doesn't matter. As long as they all clip in there. And it clips, it clips. Make sure it's clipped all the way around. Boom. Good. And then your cable just goes back in. All right. And that's it. I mean, you put it back together. Bam. Put the screws back on where it goes. That's it. Easy as pie. Hope this helps.